right. <clears throat> I'll just do a fucking. We just, it's like it's rolling. Yeah, it's just rolling, man. You know, uh, yeah, guys. Welcome to Cut to the Chase podcast yep. again. Uh, another episode here. Uh, we have a very good one today. I um, I don't know how to define this individual, but I have like certain. I have certain words. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> Consistent. Uh, no nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> um kind of swift like cerebrally cerebrally swift um uh, you know you don't really know what he's thinking about or what he or what he thinks about you <laughs> <laughs> uh you hope it's nice uh, <laughs> because he's one of those individuals that has a very high intelligence for comedy and uh if you don't uh, in my opinion reach that uh, he's uh he's like I don't know about this guy. <laughs> it's just for me, it's just a comedy because I love this shit so much. It's like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. You don't get kudos for not being good. I hope I, anything I didn't say wasn't like any bad or anything. No, no, I, yeah, because like, 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 that was just a thing. It's just like that's what me. It's just I love this shit so much, and I work so hard at it to be good that I like. Right. I'm only gonna be impressed with shit that's impressible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something that's impressive. Right. I yeah. apologize, Jason. Yeah. Not <laughs> I'm, true. I'm working on it. I'm not talking <laughs> about you. I'm talking about just people in general. Like, right. it's just like, I don't know. Like, it's funny that you said, like, lately, like, that's been just my slogan. I'm not impressed. Yeah. I'm just like, there's so many people I'm just not impressed with, bro. Like, I yeah. just like, I think we just come into a place where we just gas people up till we feel mm-hmm. like we have to like something because it's the hottest thing or it's like sure. but right now it's just like I'm just not impressed with a lot of shit yeah. that's just so supposedly supposed to be good I'm not talking about comedy I'm just talking about life in shit, general bro, yeah. it's just like I'm just a lot of shit I'm just not impressed with man it's, that's funny that you said that because I share I share the same feeling yeah and you know and I don't know sometimes it could come off like it's interesting sometimes you know <laughs> when I try to explain it to certain individuals yeah. that don't understand yeah. that that ideology yeah it kind of comes off as you being like overly confident or arrogant to a degree as and and sometimes i'll be thinking that way Mm because i'm like because i don't want to be that guy it's like everything sucks you know no i don't think i'm a very i'm a very like positive type person i like sucks but something sucks something sucks i'm just like this is terrible yeah especially this rap music going on now bro yeah there's a lot of rappers that are just not good it's a humana humana shit yeah it's like like, just uh, whatever you know i just feel like thing quality is like everything is just so um oversaturated i mean bro that you're gonna find a lot more shit than sugar now you know what i mean yeah I mean, we come from the age of like I'm, I think. I mean, you know, I mean, we're generally like the same age. I'm, I'm a, I think I'm a little bit older, but yeah, like we come from same the same era. Same era. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect word. And um, I mean, I come. We come from like you know, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll talk comedy constructs, I yeah. guess, but like just a whole genre of like quality. If I'm talking yeah. about just pure quality, yeah. like definition quality. Yeah. How can you? It's hard for me to kind of compute like what's good now versus like compared to like Prince, Michael Jackson, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know, are we talking about like Cool and the Gang, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I'll run DMC, like right. yo, bro, we came from a. But I'm like, I don't know, man. That's, I'm, nah, like even like because like those people you named are like hyper talented. Oh, they're super talented. Like you know yeah. what I mean? But right. there's even like that tier above where people are good yes. that a lot of people aren't even they trying don't even, to be that. They're not you trying know to be that. I mean? And that's like, where I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's what I just like, be. it's just some people are just like, it's just, it's yeah. like, especially now that our attention spans are so sh- shit because of social media, like you really got to say something to me be like, oh, that was really good. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Because, mm, yeah. and that's why I like, like social media, like TikTok, I can't really get into it too much. It's because everybody's just stealing each other's videos. And it's just like, how many times are going to watch this same sound bite? How many times are they going to uh, watch this same bullshit? Uh, you know what I mean? I know. It's tough. Especially as like comedians, you know, <clears throat> you know, the world of promoting has changed. Yeah. So it is. I don't think you can be a successful comedian now without the assistance of like digital media. Oh, no. How fucking no. Right? How it's, it would be very hard, put it that way. Yeah. <clears throat> and especially if it would be more hard if you're an, a comic that just does, doesn't even, like, buy into the shit anyways. Mm-hmm. Imagine, you, like, I'm, imagine you're, like, you're Dave Attell, and, mm-hmm. like, you, you have to, you're his manager, and you're telling him, yo, you got to do TikTok, dog, right. to and get more like, famous. Get and he's like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> I love that shit, like, yeah. sometimes. But 
but you know, there's I the guess the good thing about social media though is like yeah. a lot of people you would never see you see in a lot of old artists revive their careers right off social media, which is a beautiful thing. I heard, yeah, I heard on a podcast um, about this topic that we were talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, it was Andrew Schultz and Andrew Schultz's podcast. Mm-hmm. I think Godfrey was on it, and, yeah. And they were talking about the. They're just talking about, I guess, you know, how how they use digital media yeah. to get yeah. where they are now, you right. know? Because they were like, they didn't have that many followers, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, really good comedians. And then once they started using social media in their way of, like, who they are. Yeah. Not, like, fabricate some someone else to right. sell. They were right. like, they were just being themselves, but just, right. more, just like, po- posting it. Yeah. And then they just, like, took off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel you, though. I feel you. It's hard. It's hard. And, but comedians are, like, very, you would agree, probably... Do you think? I mean, comedians are very more crit- like critical. They they have a, like a little bit more like of themselves. E- yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's yeah. not even a question, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Super critical of themselves. I think it's positive. You think it's a positive thing to have? I think it. It could be good and bad. Yeah. Because sometimes being too critical makes you like not make a move at all. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know they say this saying: the next move it should be your best move. Yeah, yeah. But some would say it's not their best move. They don't move at all. Because they're over there. Being stagnant is almost worse than not doing anything. At Being stagnant is like almost worse than not being in the game at all to me. Right. You know what I mean? Like if you're sitting there just not moving, it's like you're not in the game anyway. You're not in the game anyway. You know? So right. it's just like, it's just like, it's just hard to fucking find that balance between like art and hustle and yeah. marketing, like that whole thing you have to balance. That's why anybody who does make it on any level, it's like you got to get them a round of applause. Oh, of course. Bro. Yeah. Even if you like their shit or not, it's just like, uh, you know, they had to jump through hoops and shit to like get to where the fuck they want to get to. Jump through hoops, take a lot of bullshit. Yeah. You know, being, you know, all the whole the whole nine yards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People not believing in you. Yeah. Like how much- crazy stuff. Yeah, people, like people now, if if they met one of those challenges, they mm-hmm. would quit on the spot. Yeah, people just quit now. Like people <laughs> just quit, like just trying to do anything. <laughs> like you just see, like even at work, bro. Like I work, just like taking the trash. Yeah, and shit. yo, like I work at a freaking, like I work at <laughs> fucking, like I work at like an apartment complex, right? I do maintenance during the day, and then I'm a comic at night, right? So, mm. like, if you just like now that like. After the pandemic, I realize people are just so lazy. They don't want to do anything anymore, bro. Like, like we have issues we never had before. Like, we'll take, like, dumpsters out, and then the trash dude just won't pick it up some days because they just don't have enough people to pick up the trash. <laughs> like, that's a problem. That's a new problem we have. Like, the trash doesn't get picked up. That's you know what I mean? That's a problem. Right. He's just like, yo, yeah, people don't want to work. And the trash company be paying dudes decent money, dog. Like, you're picking up trash. They yeah. got to give you some money, dog. Yeah. Nobody's going to just pick up trash. Because any any person would know if you're going to pay someone to, like, to throw trash, you got to double up that money. Right. That's like a disrespect. Right, dog. Like, you know, it's just like, it's just like, nobody wants to work. Everybody's lazy. And it's just like. Pilots are just like striking now yeah it's just like, like they're just like yeah we're not gonna fly the plane if you're not gonna pay us more yeah and companies are like still are like contemplating not paying them it's yo, like yo you dr- you, you <laughs> you're, know what it you're is? flying I, humans I dog was, i was like, thinking this the other day like we live in an era where like stingy as fuck old business model is that just hanging on to it like just co- classic corporate america but like yo y'all don't get to keep all the money anymore y'all had y'all fun Right. Y'all, all y'all are billionaires. You got to share some of this fucking <sighs> money. And it'd be like, yo, if you made 40, let's pretend you made $40 billion, right? Let's go. Talk to me and nice. And you could fucking <laughs> spend $1 billion out of that $40 billion and make your employees happy. Why won't you just take that $1 billion? I, 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 I say, I ask that question all the time. I even go to the extent of being like, all right, you, if you don't even want to pay it mm-hmm. for whatever reason, because you just have your personal mm-hmm. choice of like, yeah. what, what you want to do with your money. Yeah. All right, let me give you this example. How about you get a group of all the top companies in the world, mm-hmm. right? And they, <clears throat> excuse me, and they just contribute just only 1% of their like gross profit. Just into a big pot. Into one whole annuity pot. Yeah. Like a pool. Yeah. And then if, I mean, that's a lot of money, right? 1% of like the total growth companies, Mm -hmm. like revenue, yo, you're talking in the trillions of dollars. You're trying to tell me like we can't 
set up a system All where right, we'd be now, like, here's yo, thing here's the one like, from the homeless. Here's yeah, someone from here. Like, but you know how it is that that shit again. That's a great idea, but who's gonna allocate that? When you see, when you when you get a board, you get like a board of like nations. Everyone, even, we always we all know that people can't be trusted. That's bro. true too, because I be like, a lot of money. Because you gotta think, you gotta <laughs> think. Imagine like, I'll be yo, my people's over here need imagine, some more money, right? right. <laughs> um, you know they're gonna start fighting over it, right? Because imagine like, all right, imagine you fucking, you're the person in charge of that account. You got you got the annuity account of all the top corporations in the world, right? Yeah, that shit gonna be six trillion dollars. You gonna say that's <laughs> right. not gonna corrupt your mind, dog? That's true. Motherfuckers, I be getting corrupt mind when people offer me cookies and shit. Right. Like, over, <laughs> like more food. Like, how can I get more of this shit, dog? <laughs> but it be like, yeah, like people are just like, just not meant to just handle like shit like that. So I guess it begs the question, like, do we ever get to a place where it's going to get to a, a happy median for everyone? Yeah, it's just like, it's just gonna, there's just going to be people like, you don't understand, it's just like. Like black people, we've been starving for a while. So we got, unfortunately, we have a PhD in struggle, right? Yeah. Now the problem is white people are struggling now, and they don't even have a GED in struggling right now. So that's why they're going so fucking crazy right now because they don't know how to struggle. This is all new to white people, like as a whole. Like I mean, there's been poor white of people. Course. Obviously, we're from Boston. Yeah, we've seen poor yeah, white people. Let's not insult our but intelligence. But like, there's people who like can't even fathom the concept of being broke who are broke right now crazy you know what i mean yeah like like for like at my job right it's right in the middle of cambridge so i got mit motherfuckers there berkeley harvard kids who just like used to have money and like now they're starting to deal with like problems mm. and like sometimes i like hear them i'll be like bro that's not a problem like what you're bitching <laughs> about that's not a real problem dog like right. inconvenience is not a problem all the time. Some people think some inconvenience that it makes it a problem. Yeah. That's not a fucking problem. Right. Yeah, I agree. It's not a problem. Yeah, it's like people are, um, there's just a cog- co- cognitive distance yeah. with like really identifying what's reality and what's yeah. not. Yeah. Like real reality versus yeah. like what's not. Or yeah. something that is doesn't really should affect you. You yeah, know what I mean? It's like, it's so, not, it's not that serious. It's not that serious because. And I have a problem with that too, Jason, because mm-hmm. I, I think I have a very high elevated problem with that because I'm a fucking African from refugee. I'm a refugee from Africa, bro. Right. Dude, we don't give a fuck about not like <laughs> about nothing. Not, like it's not. I mean, it's was like you born there. Yeah, I was, was born. You, I was born in um. You, what age you come here? Kid. So like, uh, man, fucking five. Do you remember six? being in Africa though? I remember like smelling a lot of like terrible smells. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what you took. <laughs> That's what your hustle comes from. Terrible African smell. Yeah, because you know, smell that shit nah, again. Dude. Fuck no. My mom used to come in, bro, and she used to come in smelling like you know smelling our like Africa. Yeah, just, just smell. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fucked up. laughs> Basically, hey, yo, Ma, you smell like mad Africa today. <laughs> Go shower. You smell like Africa. Uh, I mean, but it was just because, you know, our, you know, where we came from, you know, you know, the types of food, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's very strong senses of smells. You know, it's Are like, you talking about just the food? I thought you meant like just like Well, just because well, I'm saying like she would come to my school yeah. to pick me up. And she after she's been cooking curry. I should be cooking lamb, goat, fresh lamb too. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. What, not not with no uh, whatever you guys put that and we put in it now like eight HMOs, whatever like uh, or GMOs, GMOs. What yeah. the fuck did I say? I said H- HMO. Oh my nigga! Wow. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> put the insurance in their meat. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, man. It's um. But so, well, I guess my point was the reason why I said that. Because we just, you know, I was growing up with the mentality like, yo, like, Make it we, had str- we had to struggle, dog. Yeah. Like, we had nothing. I just watched that movie Rise the other day. Oh, for real? My son, that Giannis movie on Disney. Oh. <laughs> that shit's a real struggle. And that's the Disney version. <laughs> so I can imagine what the real struggle is like. Bro, my dad told me, this is when my dad hit me with this, the, he hit me this like the other week. I think I told, I think I told Big D this too. No, I didn't tell Big D this. He goes, right. He's like, yo, you ever cried in the desert? Cried in a desert? My dad said that. He lived in a desert? Like he had a, when he fled, like we, you know, he fled he war. He just ran across the desert. Yeah, he went there, went to desert to the, to Sudan. Damn. 
So he's like, yo, you ever cried in the desert, my nigga? <laughs> I'm like, nah. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm like, nah, son. Like, He's like, so you don't know, like, there's levels to struggle. There's levels so to, he's like. he's just in a desert, like, no, don't even know where he's going. Just try, hungry, thirsty, lonely, motherfucker. friends, like, nah. So he's by himself? He's, I wasn't even born, my nigga, so I wasn't even dead. The nigga's just telling me from a third party, <laughs> nigga. I mean, I only can believe a nigga that's telling me how he's right. telling me the story. In the Jason got mad questions. He's yeah, like, he's like, like <laughs> yeah, because I, because I be like in the picture of her, like, hold on. <laughs> he was in the desert by himself. <laughs> Jason's not even getting the fact that this, you got a man in the desert. He's like, how the fuck did he get to the desert? <laughs> yeah, 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 like, did he, like, I'm just trying to understand. Like, did he just say, yo, fucking today's the day? <laughs> he just ran out the door and just ran clear across the desert, doc. Like, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> My wife smelled too African. I'm going running across the desert today. <laughs> I had enough of this shit. Enough of this shit. <laughs> I guess now I understand why you cannot impress Jason. Uh, <laughs> you can't impress Jason, an African. You know, African struggle. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, no, no. How bad of African struggle are we talking about? Talk about raising the bar. Um, right. But no, I guess, like, you know, whatever. Everyone got their own struggles and everyone has their own, like, stories yeah. with struggle. But like you said, the black struggle is for real. Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> and yeah, and it's like, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It, I, I'm sure it'll get to a place, hopefully, of mm -hmm. some sense of normalcy. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, as a comedian, though, yeah. it's like funny as shit yeah, to like see. Yeah, it's a time to fucking <laughs> see crazy shit. Uh, like, all we see is fucking crazy Yo, shit. you know what happened? Like, you know... <laughs> This has happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. I wrote this down because I was like, I think I could I could write something about this. Yeah. I, I don't know, but it was yeah. funny to me. Yeah. I'm at I'm having drinks some, last night, mm -hmm. bro. I'm chilling. DJ's playing some really good music, you mm -hmm. know, '90s music. That's my shit. Yeah. So this big muscled black dude with dreads in the bar, in the bar. Yeah. Right. Walking like stealth, like through cutting through. I'm like, damn. Through the crowd. Through the crowd. Yeah. I'm gigging, right? I peeped him from the corner of my eye. Because mm -hmm. every, like, kind of short nigga has a tall nigga radar, like a build yeah, nigga yeah, radar. Yeah, 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 right, <laughs> right. I guess that makes perfect sense, that. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like, I got to see who's taller. Who's taller. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do, dog. I don't know why. I be like, ah, oh, this nigga's taller than me. He's taller than me. I don't trust him. I don't trust this nigga. <laughs> so, why your bones so big? <laughs> right. And then, uh, so he starts walking, man. He just comes up to me, dog. I'm like, fuck. Directly to you? Directly to me, dog. I'm like, dog, why? I'm, come on, man. Yeah. Out of all me. Right. I mean, <laughs> you're already <laughs> taller than me. <laughs> you're already taller than me, dog. Uh, he goes, he grabs my, you know, sh he goes in for like a handshake, but it's not like a, like a, like a black brother handshake. Yeah. It's more like, like, yo, like, I'm about to fuck you up on your metacarpals type shit. Like he's about to, know, he's about to, like he does like that professional handshake you yeah, do with yeah, a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. but when someone who wants to like kind of dominate it though. Oh, he squat, he squeezed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was squabbling with my thumbs. Mm. <laughs> right. But so why he picked you out of the crowd? I don't know, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have no idea. Dog. So then what happened? He leans in and says this to my ear. He goes, "Assalamu alaikum, my brother." <laughs> And I was like, fam, like, how do you know I'm Muslim, bro? I'm wearing a, like a pineapple T-shirt, my nigga. Like, I was, I don't even, <laughs> like, I didn't have no, so I didn't know. I was scared. Like, I didn't know how he yeah. wanted me to answer. Mm -hmm. I was, so I just. He probably just assumed you were Somalian or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> you probably, you probably just assumed, I... How do you, like, that's a weird. He's is like that a... African, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying, like. I, it just was weird to me because I'm just like I wasn't dressed like or yeah. anything like that. I would just like, I had a hat you? on. Like, you know why did he pick you in? Maybe he was recruiting. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yeah. that's how he tests you. <laughs> oh, I definitely responded salam salam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to get my ass yeah, beat. Right, right, right. Oh no, that's weird. Why would he pick you? To I just don't know. Do that. That's why I was. Did he do it with anybody else? Bro, he didn't do it with anybody else and kept on going straight and went around, you know, run around the corner to the bar. Mm. It was the weirdest, most funniest shit I ever experienced in my life. Wow. I was like, yo, I could just, I'm giving off like, I don't know. Giving off? I don't know if it was, if, if that was like. Are you, are you Muslim? No, I'm not Muslim, no. You didn't grow up Muslim, nothing? No. Oh, shit. No. Damn. I mean, I got Muslim people in my family. Obviously, but. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, 
Yeah, so I don't know. He it, it was picked it. you out. Yeah, he just picked me out. You ever had like those? Situ- I don't think for me it's always been like kind of. I don't know, bro. Sometimes what kind I, of situation. Have you ever been in a situation where like you just are just trying to mind your business and yeah. then I got just I got, a motherfucker just be fucking with you? <laughs> no, I got. I got. I always had since I was a kid. I got one of those people want to talk to me faces, bro. <laughs> Yo, I cannot tell you how much like people's business I know. Strangers, people I know, I know about crimes, all kind of shit, bro. People just open up to fucking me, bro. Like I remember yeah, one too. time, this is back when I was taking a bus, and fucking I had got on a bus. I was heading to fucking uh, from Dorchester, heading to Quincy, and I was a. Uh, it was one of them buses that don't run that often, so You're there's right. never gonna be that many people <clears throat> on them buses that don't run that because nobody's right. up early enough to catch that bus. Right. I got on the bus. This drunk ass fucking dude comes in. He's like stumbling and shit, like stumbling through the bus. It's just me. I'm in the corner, and he sits to the other corner. And he looks at me. He pulls out like a pint of like peppermint schnapps or some shit. He drinks the whole shit in one sip, and he just looks at me and just starts talking. <laughs> like he told me like any and everything. He told me about his family growing up in Dorchester, dog. Just mad for how he's not racist. So I was like, come on. Bro. You do yeah. got you do got to don't like come talk to me type of vibe though. Yeah, but people do talk to me, bro. Like they just want to <laughs> talk. I be like, I be like, I don't know, man. I just like I got so much shit in my fucking head, bro. That I just right. like don't be giving a fuck about shit. You know what's dog. funny? I think I think I. I experienced that actually one time because yeah. I was like talking to you about some shit yeah. and I was like really talking to you about something yeah. and the whole time like I f- yeah, you were rolling a, like a bon- you was rolling like a backward joint mm-hmm. or something and like I was like it took me a second I'm like this nigga's not really listening to me at all <laughs> <laughs> and I was like all right, I get how Jason is now. I'm yeah. just not gonna. It's all good. Nah, <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't nothing malicious. No, it's just it was like just no. Like, but you and you was thinking about something else. Yeah, and you, you, like, and I be thinking about so much <laughs> shit, bro. It's just like yeah. I don't know. Like sometimes I just be zoning out. Oh yeah, too. I be seeing you. Yeah. I be like, I be, be look like across. I be yeah. like, oh, this, he's thinking some shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kind of quiet, you know. Yeah, I just be chilling, bro. I be yeah. to myself, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, Most I mean time. that's a good time. I, I feel like that's kind of a good thing because I feel like, I feel like. There's a lot of people that don't know how to be by themselves. Yeah, I think that's the problem, man. A yeah. lot of people don't like themselves. That's the problem. Yeah. And, you know, it's like me and my, uh, one of my best friends I always say, yeah, I'm, I'm my favorite person to be around. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I'm my favorite person, I'm my, to, be yeah. my favorite person to be around. So, yeah. I'm good <clears throat> being by myself, bro. Yeah, yeah. I think it comes from, like, our, gener- our era, too, yeah. of people. Like, <clears throat> I'm good. Like, I'm seeing a lot of other people that I know, though. Mm-hmm. Other people that have, like, didn't know this about them. Yeah, like they can't be by themselves. Yeah, there's a lot of people like Oof. that, bro. There's it's a lot of people transparent. I'm just like, yeah. oh, is this is this this is not good. Yeah, from you know, like long term. No, people are just arrogant, emotionally arrogant now, dog. Uh, I just feel like people just feel so entitled to any and everything, bro. You can, they, and they just feel like that they should be able to just take it. This is like, like you ever had like had like a um like an ex girlfriend that won't disappear. Yeah. You be uh, like, that's ex- arrogant for you to like, I said I'm done with you, but you aren't ready to be done with me, so you think you get to harass my life. Yes. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That's just arrogance, bro. Yeah. Pride, ego, whatever. In- insecurity, but that's insecurity, not yeah. that's not your problem no more. And that's what like, I just feel like people are just so entitled to think that they could just do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, you have to. In and a way- that's why like they look at people like who say, fuck you as like assholes but like there's no way to get through life without being an asshole there's literally no way to get through life without being an asshole on some level you never see a really nice person have a good life (laughs) somebody who's really really nice all the time because people just walk on them all the fucking time bro that's crazy. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "You like think about it. Who you know that's just like super nice. And whenever somebody portrayed as super nice, they find out in real life that they're really an asshole. <laughs> Look at Ellen DeGeneres. Look what happened with her. She pursues like, oh yeah, I'm just a fun lady lesbian who likes to dance in the crowd when she's really an asshole in real life. <laughs> Fair enough. You have I mean, to be an asshole. Yeah, I guess you know. Now you got to know how to reel it in, though. You can't just be all the way to the top. You can't be Trump. You know what I mean? You can't right. be that guy. But there's, <laughs> right. there's a certain level of asshole that's good for people. Right, right. And I think that's why like people are like so sensitive because they got rid of all the assholes thinking that it was gonna make the world better. 
but it really didn't. It just made people fucking worse because all the people who are overly sensitive mm -hmm. are making all the rules in the world now when there's nobody who's saying, no, let's not do that. Right. Actually, we're not going to do that. Right. Fuck, like, let's not. We're not doing that. Right. And you're such a pussy that I don't care. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, Got me lit. I'm ready. <laughs> Yo, the way you was in that, I, I was like, I want to no. follow. I want to follow you, Jason. Yeah, but it's just like. <laughs> Got me hyped. I, I don't mean, know why. I was like, I was the, with Jason. The so. world needs change, but it's just like, it don't need every change. Everything doesn't need to be changed. Hey, man. Whew. Yeah. I mean, it's. I feel like I'm on the line of like in the middle. Yeah. I think everybody you know what I'm is right now. Yeah. Well, it's just like, I was just thinking this. Like, nobody has it figured out. And that's the problem. Nobody wants to admit that nobody has it figured out. But everybody, to get their point across, they have to act. They have to act like they got the whole... F this is the plan. Trust me, this is going right. to work. But at the end of the day, nobody, nobody has knows. it figured out. Yeah. Nobody knows. And that goes on any facet of the spectrum of life right now. Nobody has this shit figured out. Nah. nah. <clears throat> but in my opinion, I feel like it's okay. Yeah, to, and that's what people don't understand. It's okay to like... It's okay it, to... It's, yeah. it's just nobody says that I fucked up. I was wrong. Nah. Nobody says that. Even and it's I rarely. think people need to do that. Like on every level. Like yo. Or, or shit. I mean, Trump is a piece of shit. But if he was like, yo, I was forcing it those last couple <laughs> years. I'm sorry, people. I don't know what the fuck was right, going right, on. Right, right. And people would respect them a little bit more. But when oh, like, yeah. but when we we come into a society where you just have to like, no matter what, you just got to stick to your guns. Like yo, it's all right to be like, yo, I fucked up. Right. I forced it. I think the key, one of the key components, like, also with that is, like, forgiveness. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> no one wants to, like, truly forgive people anymore. Nah, hell no. Like, that, you know what I mean? Like, really, that, truly. You see that shit now with, like, social media. You see all these posts to be like, oh, if you ever cross me, fuck you. You see all this, like, yeah. oh, when people, like, it's all about, oh, cut people off, cut people off, cut people off. Like, yo, dog, like, you got to forgive some people, dog. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you can't cut everybody <clears throat> off, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Yeah, I mean, a we all bit. do it, but it's just like, you just got to... I'm some a ninja. People, but the thing about <laughs> it was, like, people, people confuse forgiveness with, like, I can forgive you, but that don't mean I'm ever going to fuck with you the same way. Again. Sure. And that's what people understand. Like, I'll forgive you, like, whatever. It's cool. You a fuck nigga. Right. But you a cool fuck nigga mm. to a certain extent. Mm. And it's just like, but I ain't gonna ever get into that space with you ever again. And that's cool, too. You that's know cool. what I mean? Yeah. It yeah. could be on, on, on some old, like... Yeah. Like, hey. It's just like, yo, it's just like, I could forgive you, like... I could, you could be a head nod nigga for me. You know what I mean? A what? A head nod nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see you around. I don't fuck with you, but I see you. I give you that. I give you a head nod. <laughs> you some people are head nod niggas. You know what I'm saying? You said that I knew exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh, damn, Jeff, you knew. Yeah. Like, hey. Jeez, I got it. Like, yeah, I might not fuck with you, but I see you. Hey, what's up? I, I'm ex I'm acknowledging your presence. Gotcha. Right. Right. And that's enough to avoid a problem at the end of the day. Oh yeah, we definitely. I you mean, know that's how I mean? we that's how we grew up on the like. Yeah. On the, like, what's up? Like, you know how it is. Like, you grew up in the hood. Mm -hmm. You see a fucking you crossing. You know, like, we came in that era, too, where, like, we was kind of raised to be scared of each other. Like, black people. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you fucking got your tough guy image on. This motherfucker got your tough guy image. And probably both of y'all ain't even tough, to be honest. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. But y'all like, oh, man, fuck, shit. We both walking. Damn, we both just was broke and had to take the bus at 1130 tonight. Now we, yep. got, now we might have an issue. Right. And you just be like, the head nod. And all your relief is gone. It's You're like, gone. all right, cool. I can keep walking. This you know is, what I mean? And this is what people don't understand. You give out more head nods out here, bro. Yeah. For real. What was you about I, but I, I, see, I saw something in that, what you, in, within that example mm -hmm. that you said. It's also, I'm looking at like, <clears throat> that's true. But as black people, I don't think a lot of people understand th that they don't really empathize with that type of anxiety. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course not. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then that's what is being not really thought out when mm -hmm. people are, are hearing about black stories and black strife. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. like, they're not understanding. Like, like you could, you could. We, we literally, like, the, 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 from racism itself, mm -hmm. like, how it's, like, panned into our mm -hmm. minds to be, like, to, you know, we have to, yeah. we have to defend against our own, too. It's just, right. like, crazy. It's like, um, you know, I read about racism lately. Racism isn't always just about treatment of other people mm -hmm. it's keeping other people delusion of other people's problems that becomes racism too yeah like for instance like george floyd there was like white people who did not know police treat black people like that they're like are you fucking kidding me 
<laughs> like, my God. Like, but niggas been knew about that shit, dog. You know what I mean? They reacted like like Johnny Carson renewing another season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just like, yo, but it's just right. like. It shit, is what it is. Yeah. Shit yeah. like that. And it's just like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like, for instance, bro. Like I said, I work in Cambridge, bro. I run into a lot of white women, bro. Just what time? Passing. What time? So I can know what's going on. What do you mean, what time? <laughs> oh, he said what time? What I'm, I'm just, saying is just like, I'm like asking I, for a friend. I interact with a lot of white women, and I just realize how like delusional white women really are, bro. <laughs> like how just like certain <laughs> things don't even register in their fucking brain, dog. You know what I mean? All right. It was just like sometimes, like just the way they talk would be like. Sometimes you just be like, everybody doesn't get to live like that. Right. Everybody can't just walk wherever they want, do whatever the fuck they want, and then nobody questions what their motives are, why they're here. You know what I mean? This is like, yeah. this is not like that. Like sometimes, like I had this white friend, right? It was a chick, and like you would just explain a problem. She's like, well, won't you just ask? It doesn't work like that for me. I don't get to just ask, and then people actually. Fuck, give me what I want. Even care about what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> You're right. It's just like that uh, shit don't, don't just work like that. You know work, what I mean? It doesn't work like that. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of caught. There's a lot of like dissonance. Yeah. When it comes to those. Um, and we see it like, we see it in like full form being from Massachusetts, bro. I think, I think, th well, that's a good point. You know, I, we see black white dynamic to a T in Massachusetts, oh yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, uh, it's like a level of, um, I don't even want to say code switching, but it's more yeah. of like you're, 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 you you have a particular perspective already ingrained in you, mm -hmm. and then you also have another perspective that you have to mm -hmm. kind of fall into, right? So you know how to maneuver, and I think that's why. So, like you said, we know kind of like both dynamics mm -hmm. of the of the both of both people, yeah. But from a comedic standpoint, a lot of successful comedians have been like been very good from at here that. at that, yeah. It's because crazy. It's, it's just a, it's just a. Uh, I mean, Patrice is like probably the yeah. one of the biggest examples. You yeah, know? you just when well, you get an education of white people in, in mass, you can't get nowhere else. Mm -hmm. They just have. Damn, everything. you should have. Damn, that, that was a good one actually. Yeah. I, I feel like that should have been a slogan for like. Yeah. <laughs> you should. They should have hired you. <laughs> mm, like, that should have been a promo for yeah, them. <laughs> right. I, I believe in that message. Yeah. I, I, Damn, that was like, I would have signed up. That was what it is. <laughs> that was good. Because you run into like every facet of white people in Massachusetts. Yes. Oh, it's different. I mean, it's like, different. like, like, for instance, like, yo, I, like, we know what like poor white people look like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, we know what fucking oh, yeah. rich like. Because those if, are my if people. If you're a kid, right, <laughs> those are my people. If you're a kid in Boston, like, you have every kind of white friend. You know what I mean? You got poor white friends. You got rich white friends. You got middle class white friends. You got upper middle class. You got lower middle class. You got all of them. And you interact with all these fucking people. That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then you got like the work shit where it's just like every black person in work the place where you're the only black dude and it's mad yeah. white people. And those, all, and those all white people have different perspectives. Yeah. Like they all hate each other too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's yeah. like I look right. you know, my Italian, my boys, my, like, you know, from like whatever like mm -hmm. Eastie yeah they'd be like those fucking yuppies yeah 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 yeah. They know. <laughs> fuck those guys well cause rich people treat everybody the same ah that's true that's you're a good rich point. you're just rich yeah you're just rich you don't care who yeah, it is or what color you don't, color, you don't as long give as your money's yeah. coming in you don't give a fuck yeah yeah, yeah. So. that's interesting um yeah it was weird you know coming into this country and like experiencing that mm -hmm. like as like Africans we're just like what the right. fuck what? like we don't understand why we're killing each other and yeah. why we, why people don't want what us Africans think about black people I think that's a big disconnect <laughs> we know depends on who like you this, ask but y'all never really <laughs> talk about it no I don't think it's not about liking it's just more of like you don't understand why we behave the way we do I think it's more of like kind of like the uh, cultural not understanding the culture yeah. here yeah um it's a, it's a, there's a, a disconnect of um, information yeah. that they don't know, generally Africans, mm -hmm. about the culture of the African Americans here. Mm -hmm. It's not taught to them yeah. over there. I mean, so what does that mean? So they don't have, they don't know. Like, so it's like when so then they come over here and they're seeing like, because my I'll give an example actually. Yeah. So my mom, right? So I guess the best example I could give mm -hmm. is my mom. So. Then when she, when she was in Africa, they were telling her, "Oh, America is like beautiful." You know, mm. it's fantastic. Like everything's beautiful. There's money there. laying on the street. Yeah, they sold her like that Cinderella yeah. like right. um, storyline. Yeah, and then you know when we were in the refugee, we were refugees. You know, we were waiting to mm -hmm. get put over here. <clears throat> then we moved here. We got immigrated here, mm -hmm. and then we 
moved to Lynn. Mm. Lynn, Lynn Master, like yeah, in the eighties, were like, yeah. that's fucking crazy, dog. Yeah. Like we were like, you Going know, Lynn it was 80s. lit, like dog. It was like a uh, crack. Yeah, like niggas is like, you know what I'm saying? Like where my my parents from? They don't have that. Yeah, there's none of that shit, dog. Right. There's no drugs, nothing. Like right. the government's like what, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> yeah, right. Africa, like people, like that's what I'm saying. People here don't understand. Like over there in Africa, dog. They're not. They're, there's no like. You don't get to just do whatever the fuck. You, you don't get to the fuck you do. And it goes back to what you were saying. Yeah. Like you know. Sometimes you gotta be asshole. Yeah, and you can't let people do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's how it is over there, twenty four seven. Yeah, them. the government just like, damn, because they can't afford to have crack over there. They got enough problems. <laughs> <laughs> they got enough problems. They don't need crack problems over in no, Africa. No, hell no. <laughs> got enough. They smell an African. Yeah, dog. dog. You know I mean, got mad fucking animals in the right. back. Like, <laughs> we ain't got time to have crack problems. Yeah, dog. You know, but. So the, it was a cultural like, shock to them, mm. like so, and then Did also, they like, and also they were looking at also people that looked like them, like not doing well, yeah. like in the communities that they were, like we were living in, yeah. like dog, it was, bro, it was fucking crazy, dog, yeah. And then they was like, yo, what the, what the fuck, what the fuck is this? Yeah, you told us like this is like we don't understand what. You know? Utopia almost, right? They wanted us that because over there in Africa, that's what it is yeah. to a degree. Aside from like the, any uh, like war stuff, yeah. Yo, bro, you go there, dog. You're like, you're in peace, dog. Yeah, you go back to Africa often? Never been back. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? He's up there talking like I ain't never been there. Like, what the fuck you seen on a postcard? <laughs> what the fuck? I ain't listening to nothing you ever said fucking game. Nigga, you, you, nigga, I wasn't gonna press you anyways. <laughs> you, <laughs> even if I told you you wouldn't believe that, fuck you, you ain't gonna put that on me. Fuck that. Nah, Jason, fuck, that's on you, dog. <laughs> He's a never been there. <laughs> what? Yo, he went all deep. That's the shit that pissed me off. I was like, what you sold it? Yo, you really. Oh, too. I yo, learned from you from that right. smoking that you did earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sold that shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> never been there. <laughs> oh man, <coughs> yo, <coughs> God wow. man, yo. So, but I mean, you know, I've been watching you, man. Like mm -hmm. lately, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I've always been watching. I've known yeah. you for years, you know. Right. But I've never really had right. like a a sit down conversation yeah. with you, you know. Sometimes I be thinking, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, Jason? Be thinking I'm about me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean, I've been seeing you, man, and yo, um, comedy. You've been out, man. You yeah. know, you've been doing your thing. Yeah. And um, how's it feel after COVID and also like what you've been doing now? Because I definitely, I saw you on the HBO, you know, with pause with Sam J. Yeah, shout you know, out to Sam. Yeah, Sam. Oof. That's, she's 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 the like homie, man. Rocket right now, bro. Yeah, she's, a, I've always respected Sam. Yeah. You know, oh, she's yeah. a hustler. Um, But yeah, I saw you on that and I saw, you know, you seem like you got, you, do you feel like you got a rhythm now? You're in your, yeah. in your pocket right well, now? Like, I mean, where you at? Like in comedy? It's just like, right now in comedy, I got like, I got my shit and I just, I just want to push it a little bit more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can kill whatever the fuck. Oh, like, yeah. People, just, like, you're funny I as hell. Push it more, dog. You know what I mean? Like, push it. And that's what I do. I like, I get deeper into these, these fucking thoughts. Like, right now, like, I'm working on this joke about gun control. Mm. And I was like, we don't need gun control. We need gun selection control. Okay. So, like, instead of everybody having ARs, I said, we need to take everybody's guns and we're going back to muskets, nigga. You know what I'm You know how long it takes to load a fucking musket, nigga? There'll be no mass shootings. <laughs> niggas have muskets. Oh, yeah, that'll be it. You know, it's like, so, like, I've been working on that shit and it's like, it's, it got legs on it. You know what I mean? I got, like, a bunch of, like, just shit I'm just working on right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just like, it's just right now, you know what happened to me? Like, I've been doing comedy for a while and I feel like I've been pretty good for a while. And I was at the point where, you know, comedy's gonna frustrate you, dog. You Oof. know what I mean? When you feel yeah. like you're at a level but you don't get none of the benefits of oh, being yeah. at a level. You know what I mean? That's all that's happened probably any artist deals with that. Yeah. And I just got to a point where I was just like, you know what? For a long time, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm, I was like, you know what? Only thing I can control is how funny I am. That's it. Yeah. I can't control who sees me. I can help those things a little bit but I can't really control the only thing I can control is how hard I work and how funny I am you know yeah, what I mean right so <clears throat> I was just like I write jokes bro that my goal is to just be funny 
Now, sure. if I write something that happens to be political, um, it happens to be about a sensitive topic, that's okay. But I'm never, my job is just to be funny. And I feel like too many people are like pushing a thing with their comedy instead of just get, we just need to get back to people and just being as funny as fucking possible. Right. Like I'm not part of a group <clears throat> I'm pushing. I'm not trying to be the most stop provoking motherfucker in the world. I just mm -hmm. want you to be like, yo, that nigga Jason is a funny motherfucker. Dad. Like right. if they wrote that on my tombstone, I, I would die a happy man <clears throat> you know what i'm right. saying Hell yeah. like i just want to be funny bro and it's right. like and i think that like i could see like when i'm like with comedy i'm at right now like i'm reaching people a different way just from being purely funny like this lady like uh, i was at king's in um in boston yeah. off of boston street the bowling, last sunday the bowling that place yeah <clears throat> and the pack was packed and i just murdered that shit and this white lady stopped me from connecticut she was just like she was like yo i have not laughed that hard in like years right. she's like you're about she was like you're about to blow up right you got something going on i was like oh, i don't know i just do comedy <laughs> dog like i don't know what that right. means to you and she was just like yo i'm going to tell everybody in connecticut about you that's good. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. and she like took my number <laughs> and took like fucking like all my ig and everything it's just like right. that shit made me feel good I'm not gonna lie and shit but it's just like I'm just trying to like people just need to laugh right now like really laugh and I just feel like like I, I was talking to a comic about this like, I kind of feel like a lot of like newer comics I would say they did like they don't have a point to anything they just be up there just talking Ugh. like where's the punchline where's this <clears throat> going like Ugh. like you're not that interesting where people just want to hear you blabber for five minutes before you even get to something remotely funny I had one I had one of these newer comedians dog yeah and I'm you know and I want to shit on like, but it's just like fuck that let's shit write on. a fucking joke <laughs> dog <laughs> write a joke man it's just like you know, it's just like like we talking about niggas getting their cheeks bust out here, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like the to, fucking yep, shit we talking about. Like part two, bring her back, cheek busting. Yeah, cheek busting. So pretty much cheek busting is <laughs> if you get in comedy terms, not not no not no jail shit. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if you get your cheeks busting, means you did terrible on stage. If you bust cheeks, you did good on stage. But I be just seeing all these comics. Another slogan, LLC that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be seeing all these comics just getting their cheeks ravished on stage, bro, dog. <laughs> you be like, like I'd be like, it'd be one thing. It'd be like sometimes I see a comic. I'd be like, all right, you know, I'm on the scene, so I see everybody all the time. I'd be like, all right, bro, I seen you do this joke eight times, and you don't even get a chuckle. Let that shit go, bro, or rewrite it. It's no. not working. Like you're not gonna force people to think something's right. funny. It's right. like it's just not good. Some people just don't have the ear for it, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of comedians that are gonna do this for a long time, and they're never gonna develop that ear yeah. to know when to change something. Yeah, so. That's why comedy is weird like that, especially yeah. it's like with comedians, you know, sometimes it takes longer for people to understand yeah. how it really works. Yeah. Some people get it sooner. Yeah. <clears throat> so the time is very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. So I kind of always kind of give them a little bit of benefit of doubt yeah, that yeah, they're going to get it. But yeah. like, but you know, like, I know what you're saying. You're just like, yo, there's some comics who don't have it. There's some all. comics that don't have it. Like at all. At, yeah. At all, like not even from the beginning, yeah, middle like, to the end. You know, it'd be like I don't know. Sometimes, like I see comics, I'd be like, "Why did? Why do you? Like, why do you do this? Why do you do this?" And I'd be like, "Why are you putting yourself through this? Because this, like, a, like this, especially when you're like earlier or any point you come, there's such a long stretch of you not making money, you." Uh -huh. m just killing yourself mentally and all that shit just doing comedy and the only solace you have for a long period of time is getting laughs yeah that keeps you going you know what I mean that's the only thing that keeps you going and every comics you be like dog like you never get nothing why are you putting yourself through this you're psychotic bro <laughs> We are pretty. Yeah, I mean, there is a level of kind of disconnect you have to have to be a comedian. For yeah, sure. but yeah. I'm talking about the ones that like don't even get the laughs. Yeah, like why are you going through this? That's tough. That's you know tough. what I mean? That's tough. Yeah, it must be tough. It has to be tough. It's brutal, bro. It's oof. But um, and some of them will never experience like what killing means either. Yeah, you know too. So that's what I'm saying. Comedy, stand up, stand up comedy specifically mm -hmm. is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Like it's very like. You know, and you have to have a really strong skin, mm -hmm. you know, bro, like really yeah, tough yeah. where it's un where it's like, I feel like you have to have such tough skin where you're unapologetically like, don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's how much rejection you're going to get. Yeah, you get rejection and you get rejection from every aspect of comedy. 
you get it from literally on stage. People don't laugh at your joke. That's rejection. You know what I mean? That's a form of rejection. Yeah. Club owners not fucking with you. Anybody <laughs> right. not fucking. Like, you get rejected so many times, bro. Right. Like, and it's just like, <clears throat> like last night, like I was at um, Mendoza Line. Okay. By a BU. Yeah. And it's just like. College, you know, college time. Yeah, that crowd is always like. They be. fuck with me, but there's always that line because they're like a little too sensitive. So it's like certain jokes, they be like, you know, do that whole thing. But right. it's like whatever the fuck, you know what right. I mean? It's like whatever. <laughs> that's not gonna ruin my night. Uh, you're not laughing at one of my <clears throat> jokes. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, I've you. I mean, yeah, just you know, you also have that level of confidence just to keep going. Mm-hmm. And being like, oh, that didn't yeah, work. You whatever, just keep it going. didn't go. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like. <clears throat> It's weird. It's weird. You got to be tough. And I think you got to have a good support system in terms of like certain comedians around you that tell you the truth about yeah. yourself, you know, yeah. and don't really kind of fake the funk with you. Yeah. You know, you got to have people like hold you accountable, yeah. like, you know, sometimes. But <clears throat> I don't know. Comedy has been interesting to me. Um, I came in the game a little different for most people, comedians. I came in it late. You know what I mean? So I came, late in my years, I should yeah. say. And I came from world of like business, you know, and like yeah, you was corporate. working at like somewhere right yeah i was working like you know laugh for a minute that was after well before um before i started doing stand-up i was in the world of like finance and stuff yeah yeah, so i i i started comedy like 30 31 okay and then when i wanted to do stand-up comedy i made that decision i said i don't know anything about it yeah let me work at a comedy club oh okay and and that's how i kind of was like all right because yeah. I want to learn the business of comedy as well. Yeah. And kind of just learn how, I don't know what like a host is. I didn't know anything. Yeah, yeah, you just didn't know anything about it. No, I just w- liked watching Bernie Mac all the time and, yeah. and Martin and all and the I time. Think, I think you kind of find that out with every comic when you like say, all right, I want, when you made that decision, buddy, I want to be a comedian. Then you go to a comedy club and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. You're like, oh, shit. But I always wanted to do it, dog. Yeah. I always wanted to do it. I started like writing jokes. Like, I, and it's funny, like me and my sister, we all used to watch mad stand up. I always thought stand up was just so yeah. funny. Like I, I used to be able to watch like funny stand up more than I could watch a funny movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um freaking I like was writing jokes in high school. I was like, I'm gonna at least try this wow, shit. Wow, that's you crazy. You I mean? was writing jokes in high school. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I wasn't good, but I was writing them, you know what I mean? And it's just like after like my son's mom had got pregnant. I was like, all right, if I'm going to do this, this got to be the time right now. You know what I mean? And uh-huh. I, was like, I was like, and the first time I did it, I did so good, bro. I was yeah. like, this is, this is, this is, is, what, this is, this is <clears throat> what it is right here. You know what I mean? Like, this is my thing and I'm good. I'm running with this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, because for me, it's like I always did like talent shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, always like comedy. Yeah. I mean, I was watching like Three's Company. Mm-hmm. You know, Actually, the first introduction to comedy was Three's Company, the mm-hmm. show Three's Company. Yeah, I know that show. Yeah, so... So, you know, when you go grow up and you're watching comedy, Def Jam, you know, Last Comic mm-hmm. Stand, I mean, like, um, BE Com- Comic View, yeah. um, all that stuff. All you grow that up, shit, yeah. All that shit was dope. And I'm just like, damn, I always want to do this shit. Yeah. And then you're just like, fuck. Yeah. I got to make a decision. Because mm-hmm. I feel like every single person makes has to make that decision, yeah, decision if you're all in or not. Yeah. And that's the only way to be is all in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, that's what I mean. Like, I went to... Uh, like there was a place you remember the comedy vault was hell yeah of course the Boston yeah but they had across the street they had this place called Limelight they used to do comedy nights I actually met you there first time at the comedy vault uh, the first time I met you was at the comedy oh, vault oh yeah 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 that is the first you time you were hosting you. yeah yeah yeah. I went to Limelight and it was like I went there and funny my old like math teacher was like working the door Oh, so I knew I was making the right decision. <laughs> I don't want to be this motherfucker because <laughs> that teacher shit didn't work out too well for you. So I went in there and I was in there and there's like a couple comics and they were like terrible. Like I was like, I can do better than that at least <laughs> minimum. I could do better than these motherfuckers. And then I went across around the corner to Dick Doherty's and I watched um I watched like the open mic night for like three four weeks in a row who was your first comedian that you saw live like in person like stand-up comedian do you remember like at a comedy club yeah shit do you it, had a, it might have been like i don't even know bro. really I, I don't even know oh that's crazy I, I i know mine's my mine's gary goldman yo gary at the, I know at I the vault greg Hall. i said greg Hall. uh greg howe um i seen like mike whitman Okay. Like them dudes was like around like freaking uh but anyway, so I had seen it and like Kathy, she had noticed me keep coming. She was just like, yeah. hey, what are you thinking about like doing this? She could tell, like well, I'm just sitting in the back of the comedy club every week by myself. Like, oh. she, you know what I mean? For like four weeks in a row. And then um 
she was uh I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about it. What I used to do, I used to call there like every week. Yeah. And be like, oh, do y'all got open spots for Sunday? Their open mic was on Sunday. And they'd be like, yeah, you want one? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I was just checking. I did that for mad weeks. Really? And then one day I was like, yeah, you know what? I do want a fucking spot. Book me. I'm coming. Right. And then I fucking like, I remember Jim LaLetta was hosting that night. And I fucking, I went up there and Greg Howell was there too. And I went up there. And after I got off, Greg Howell was like, he's like, yo, you know Greg Howell? Like, of course. Really huh? good, man. You know, you got some good jokes over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you, got some, you just got to put it together the right way. I, I like seeing brothers do good. You know you know Greg oh, Howell be talking. Oh, shit. He t- that's what he told you? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. Did, that's not my experience with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can <laughs> Whatever. I, you know, I'm a good talk. Me and my experience. And nah, then, I'm just saying. Then, mine was a little different because yeah. when, when I got off stage when he introduced me the first yeah. time and that was my first open mic, he yeah. was hosting. Yeah. I got off stage and Greg knows this because yeah. he laughs about it all the time. Yeah. So I get off stage. Greg, my experience with Greg first time was this yo yo chase what's up man yo that stuff you did up there man and i'm like yeah what's up man that was good right he goes that shit sucked man <laughs> <laughs> got your cheese buns <laughs> Don't, he's like, don't ever do that shit again, man. He keep I'm lo- you know, I've known you since you were 40, man. I'm <laughs> telling you because. Yeah, he's going to cut your hair when you was a little kid. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's like, don't ever do that shit again. <laughs> that's real, though, Dad. But that's I respected real. him because. Right. <laughs> so I'm just sharing. I wasn't taking your shine. I'm just telling you, I wish I had that experience. Yeah. It was like him and then, um, uh, what you call it, uh, Jim LaLetta. He uh, he saw me and I did really good my first time and he was he thought I had did it before. Right. He's like, you did it. I was like, nah, it was my first time, bro. Yeah. And after that, I was there every week. Every bro. week. Every week, bro. Hustling. Every week, and then fucking, I won that little competition, and that allowed me to just go there every day. Mm-hmm. I was there all the fucking time. He was there all the time. Yeah. Just like that's why I like all the fucking like the headliners that they had at the time. I'm cool. All them. Like Mitch Stinson, that's my guy, bro. He like believed in me from the jump, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. I didn't do good, he would get mad at me, bro. Like what the fuck you doing, dog? You right. know what I mean? Mitch Stinson, Mike Whitman, Greg Howell. Fucking that's when Orlando Baxter mm-hmm. was coming up and uh, Corey Rodriguez. So they was like, you know, they was cool with me and shit. And yeah. it was just like, yeah, I got, oh, yeah. and Danny Kelly, all them dudes, bro. Dog. I got a lot of game from all them dudes. And no, it's you like, can all respect. And it's just like, you know, when you, when they see potential, they, they're they more willing to f- fuck with you, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? When they be like, all right, this dude just needs to figure it out, and he'll be good. He'll you be know good. what I mean? He'll be good. So it was just like, you know, so they, n- niggas know now, bro. You feel me? Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, this, I mean listen, everybody, <laughs> there's nobody that I know that doesn't say Jason's not funny. Yeah. And if you don't think he's funny, then you're not, I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just how it is. Like, yeah, because yeah, I know he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, so right. if you don't think Jason Cardova's not, is funny, yeah. like, I'll be like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. he bugging. Yeah. Like, you know, um, everyone has, a, you know, their path, man. Some yeah. people catch it later. Some keep sooner. Yeah. I always, for me, it always comes down to, like, respect. Yeah. You know. Exactly. I mean, that's my, I, I'm always, I, I'm a little different, I feel like. I, I, I lead with respect as a person first. Yeah. And then everything comes after. Yeah, I feel you. So it could kind of be a little difficult at times mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day like you got to be a comic you got to be a comedian yeah, and that's bro. what i want to be and that's what i it, yeah like, so it's one bro, of those things you know it's like you know how it is it's just like <clears throat> it's kind of like like you was a fucking basketball star back in the day and you're thank you day. appreciate you was that dude i, I, I know, mean that's I, what i've been telling people I know, i'm glad you, you believe like that ball back <laughs> in the day so it's like it's kind of like playing ball at the court like at the court like Unless you see a nigga like with some skills, you can't respect it. Come like you like you might be a cool guy, right? But we playing basketball. If I ain't seeing you banging or shooting or something like that's what we come in here to do to respect it. Like we at the court. Later, I could be cool with you outside of the court, but when we here, bro, like I'm call. only gonna respect in your game, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. can't give you merit off anything else. Yeah, I've, yeah, you definitely pff, listen. You. You give credit when credit's due. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. There's times I haven't done well, you didn't say shit to me. Yeah. I know that. And there's been times when I did do well, you're like, yo, man, that's, you know, yeah. that's good stuff. So I always respected you. Because yeah, I'm like, not, it's hard not to get an honest, you can't, like, yo, bro, it was like, Jason is not a liar. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, it doesn't, you don't give off, like, yeah. you're lying. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, it was like one time. You're honest. I remember Big D. Like, we was at this show in fucking... Um, Big D? In Rhode Island during the pandemic when they was doing them outside and shit. Yeah. And me and him was on it. No, I think he just rode out with me. And I was fucking... I did all right. And then this fucking dude... I can't remember his fucking name. He got, he got it. 
cheeks bust. He Ooh. did terrible. Double, bu- double bust. But like he did terrible, <laughs> and then he came off stage and he was acting like everything was all good. Like he's chill. Ugh. Like I hate when comics think they're above feeling the bomb. I hate that shit. Like go in the corner and think about what you just did, dog. Like <laughs> you just you just bombed, dog. You know what I mean? And he was chilling with D, right? And D was up there laughing and giggling with this nigga. He always tells this story. I went right behind him. I said, "What the fuck you chilling with this dude for, man?" I'm like, he just fucking bombed. <laughs> This motherfucker need to go fill that bomb, bro, dog. Like you, yeah. and that's why you get so. You're like, you're like, you, you, you're like, yo, he's coming over here and rubbing his bomb on you. Get yeah, out dog. Of like you act like, he acting like he didn't just bomb right now, like, and it's like, and it, like you're gonna bomb, <laughs> but like you have to care about that. Gotta care. You have to care when you do bad. Yeah, you do. Like you gotta feel bad when you do bad. Oh yeah, because that teaches you. Um, like kind of like it teaches you like passion right and yeah, passion like, is something that will right, like, you think a, when LeBron yeah. loses you think he goes to the club after that shit dog no. not, not LeBron no not Kobe not Kevin Garnett not those yeah. type of dudes yeah them dudes who are like passionate about what they're doing nah it's just like it was fucking I was just like why are you chilling with this dude <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, this nigga's trash like, hey man yo dog he don't he, he Nah. <laughs> that ain't it. That's not it, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was like, well, that ain't it, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't understand motherfuckers. It'd be like, die, like, take something serious, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you got to leave it all, you know, you got to grow that. You got to kind of grow. You got to, yeah, you got to be passionate about something. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you're not passionate about something that you're doing, especially stand-up comedy, mm-hmm. what, like you said, what are you doing it for? Yeah, I be feeling bad when I just see people lost in a world. I'm glad I found my thing, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? So I take it serious. I love it to death. I see people who just like right. have no passion or yeah. they're scared to like chase their passion. And it's like, some people are even scared just to do their passion. I'm not even trying to like make it like a career or anything. Just like, do something. Just, you like to do something, do that, dog. Yeah, like, you, you know like what I mean? If you like to paint, if you like to fish, yeah. you fish. Oh, I fish heavy, bro. Dog. Yeah. It killed me that I didn't have the energy to wake up this morning and go fishing, dog. Yeah, I fish cool. heavy. I've been doing that shit since I was four years old. Everybody be asking me about it. I'm like, Yo, I've been doing this shit forever. I'm not gonna t- I'm not gonna lie, bro, but you have kind of like Carl Malone, like now energy, like that like, nigga. He Carl Malone, the basketball player. Oh yeah. You ever seen him like yeah. living now? He, He's he like li- a truck driver. Yeah, right? like I, 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 I can see Jason like, like living somewhere and like living like that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which you know, are you know like, away from people, like, but like, yo, bro, to be honest, bro. like fishing and like having like a little yeah. farm situation. Yeah. I don't mean a farm, but just kind of like you bro, know, like, like if I ever get money, bro, I'm buying a bass boat, bro. Them shits like see? them shits a fire, bro. I be looking I, at them shits, I be like, damn, nigga, I would buy the fuck out of that shit. Like, oh man! Like I would just like you know who I would love you, to live by a lake, bro. That shit would be like ideal for me. Oh, bro. lake! Oh yeah, lake, lake life. Yeah, that shit yeah. would be fire. Lake life is good. Yeah, but it's just like, um, yeah, bro. You know what it is, bro. Like my whole life, I've had mad blue collar jobs, bro. Same. I've been humbled <laughs> in life, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? I know what it's like to have a low paying blue collar job, like a hard like a job, job, but you don't get paid well. What was the, most, what was the shittiest job? Uh, one of the shittiest ones, like, what was I, the shit? hmm. <laughs> I got, I think I might. Well, this wasn't a blue collar job. I worked at Best Buy. I hated that. I fucking worked That's mad cool. warehouses, bro. Oh, dog. mad Ooh, man, warehouses. warehouse jobs. Yo, warehouses. Like worked, stock room shit? Yeah, I worked stock rooms. Me I worked too. like, like mad warehouses, dog. Like I worked at Lowe's for a couple years. Oof. I worked just mad. I worked construction, bro, dog. Dog, like real labor shit yeah like, just yeah. all of it bro dog yeah. i remember one time right i used to work at valvoline dog oh shit <laughs> for real you was changing oil and shit damn after all your shit why yeah, the fuck yeah, that was the one that made it damn <laughs> that's just random that's just random valvoline's dog. the one that could tips yeah, the iceberg like, jason after all those fucking that's jobs just random dog that was just random <laughs> damn he's like, at valvoline like, like i don't know no nigga that worked at valvoline <laughs> Can't impress nothing with Jason. <laughs> can't be an African struggle from the desert. Can't nigga. Can't, was, you can't work at Valvoline. That <laughs> random. That's just because that shit was random. That Valvoline. Like, that shit's everywhere. But you don't know no nigga who works at Valvoline. <laughs> it's like that one of them jobs. Like it's hard enough, but nobody's impressed. You like, nigga, <laughs> yeah, it's not, <laughs> nigga work that Valvoline. <laughs> Can't get no bitches like that. <laughs> yeah, baby, no. Or get Valvoline and yeah. shit. Instant oil change. Yeah. Hey, did they pay well? No, no hell no. That. I was gonna pay. They paid more than minimum wage. Bro, I had to negotiate to get more at Valvoline, dog. I told the dude, I'm like, dog. 
I, I was like, bro, I'm not selling for this. Like, he was like, I, right. and he's like, I, right. I came back. He's like, yeah, you, we can give you like 50, 50 cents more. Oh, is this not the interview? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I would get, I went from seven dollars to seven fifty. Oh shit! I was like, damn. Your color. Yeah. And I was walking around you like changing your oil for seven fifty. Bro, I was making more than other niggas. Oh, shit. I was flexing. I wasn't doing shit. Niggas telling me like sweep up the oil. I'm like fuck you. Fuck out of here. I make seven fifty. I was a seven dollar nigga job. That's like exactly. I was walking around with that energy, dog. It was crazy. Niggas like, what? What's wrong with you, bro? Oh shit! I was uh, charging up tabs like the the like the open cart dude that would come. Like you know, the open cart dude. The dude like. I guess it's like a you know the guys with the cars with the food trucks. Oh, you run up a tab. Yeah, you got seven fifty. Yeah, <laughs> you can do shit like that. Yeah, he come like every like two weeks to get paid. We run up a tab. Oh, and he yeah. always have to find me. Bro. Oh shit! I'll, I'll be downstairs dog. changing oil. I'm like, I think I'm making seven fifty. That ain't good. Like, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, he's I, good. and I was walking around like people like they were like, oh, Did how they much you make? You're making seven fifty. They were trying to ask, but I was yeah. deflecting, bro. I don't want them to know. But they could tell because you was, you was running up tabs. They knew on something. The food yeah. track. <laughs> <laughs> like, only nigga out here running up a tab. It's crazy. Bro, it's that's, I, was, I had a lot of crazy jobs, dog. Yeah, I have mad jobs. Bro. So, yeah, and each, you know, I took each ex- experience from that job yeah, and I learning. Work, you know I used to work at a Star Market, bro. I oh. cut my finger the first day. Damn, he was cut. one of those dudes. Yeah, I was a meat slicer, nigga. Dog. Oh, <laughs> meat shit. slicing, dog. That's a deli. That's deli shit. That's deli shit, dog. I worked with a damn. Legit, you came right off the deli. Yeah, I worked with a legit crackhead, bro. <laughs> like he was an actual crackhead, dog. Damn. So what I used to do sometimes, I used to just take lobster salad because it was mad expensive. I would like scoop it like in the big one, yeah. the first thing in the day, and then wrap it in my coat and leave it in the freezer. And Damn. just leave sometimes. And I'll be like, Ma, we got lobster salad tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, the, the, the take home food game was yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's just like, bro, when you're just working for that little bit, bro, it's just like, come the fuck on, dog. Yeah, humbleness. You know what I'm saying? Because it'd be like, you're like, I done seen y'all throw this shit away. Why the fuck I can't just take it and eat it? Oh, yeah. That's the way I look at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, bro, I used to work at Dunkin' Donuts. I was taking all the muffins. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boston creams. Yeah. I'm like, yo, y'all gonna throw this throw away? Throw away, but I can't have it. Mm, doesn't make no sense. Yeah. This goes back to the corporation thing. It's like, yeah. yo, I, like you said, and I'll re- recircle back to what we were talking earlier. It's mm-hmm. like, it's like being these corporations, yo, they'd be stingy. It's greedy. Greedy. Uh, greed, like, it's, too gr- it's just straight ugh. greed. The greed of capitalism is like fucking it's crazy. It's getting out of hand now. That's oh, the yeah. problem, dog. It's just out of hand. It's just like, yo, they don't want to share nothing. Like, they see the world crumbling and they still like, mm-mm, nah, I'm good. Dog. I'm keeping all my shit right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fucking just crazy to see, dog. It's crazy bro. to see. And, but to your point, like, yo, that's why com- comedians should be there's no greater time for a comedian right now yeah, it like, shouldn't be no greater time the world's fucking on fire this is a great time to fucking like just write some crazy shit uh, you yeah, know what I mean just you know and be funny yeah or, you know work to being funny yeah um, where we at for time Jeff I don't even know hour and two. Oh, okay. Okay. okay we got a few yeah we yeah. got some time yeah. um, you know I was always wondering like are you considering about moving out of Boston bro yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to, and it's just like, but you know, I got my son and shit. Like, I have mm. to, like, a lot of pieces have to be moved, bro. You know what I mean? I can't just pick up and just do shit, right. dog. You yeah. know what I mean? And especially your I'm father, father, about, yeah, father's yeah, different. Yeah, I be thinking about that shit. You know, sometimes and it'd be like, like I've been to like all these states and just killed, just like I do up here. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. just like, I just like, I'm trying to think like, what? How do I just? get the shit to blow up the right way you yeah. know what I mean like, I don't know if it's like <clears throat> just hold on to maybe getting seen or putting my shit online or something it's yeah. just like it's something I have to do bro I'm trying I'm in a I'm in a rocking a hard place yeah rocking a hard place yeah yeah I think I mean I mean who doesn't think about like those mm-hmm. type of things mm-hmm. right I, for me I was in the same situation I had to be honest with myself especially mm-hmm. with my comedy where mm-hmm. I'm at also had to be like well if I'm gonna be doing this what other things can I be doing you lived in New York right oh. no no <clears throat> I lived in LA oh, okay. uh, but I didn't do comedy there um, I started I tried to do comedy in Atlanta but mm-hmm. I was too scared and I left so I didn't do the open mic mm. and then I came to Boston and then that's when I started doing the open oh, mic here okay, okay. but you know <clears throat> for me it was just like okay because I was like I, I'm always was one of those type of people kind of like just like to do a lot of things mm-hmm. like to like dabble in all like mm-hmm. things so like it was like producing was something I like to do mm-hmm. you know producing comedy shows you know acting mm-hmm. whatever podcasting I always like to do like because just 
I don't know. I just like to do all the yeah, things. I do a lot of shit. So I was like, hey, man. So we started a podcast. You know, I think we were. Did you? I think you on Ready Set Blow podcast. I believe. Were you on Ready Set Blow? I think I was supposed to. Be. I think you're supposed. Ah, you were supposed to be. Yeah, it didn't work out. Did it, yeah. Yeah, but. <clears throat> But yeah, but so I was like, we did that. I was doing that for five years. Yeah, with, what happened? With Randy, because Randy moved. Yeah, well, Randy moved to. LA. Well, Randy was actually interesting. Randy moved p- before the uh, coronavirus. Yeah, and we were doing Zoom podcasts. Yeah, yeah, I did that with my boy before too. Yeah, yeah. So a lot, some people were like already doing that. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, so he moved, <clears throat> and then but we were still doing the podcast, and then um. Yeah, so you know, it just you know the distance. Obviously, mm-hmm. I'm a. I, I was doing as much long as I could, mm-hmm. um, you know. But I really like the in studio feel. Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. Too. It's a yeah. different vibe, different vibe, and stuff like that. And uh, there's other things too. That's why but, I can't listen to like some of these like new podcasts that popped up where it's like they only been on Zooms and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it'd like, be like Jesus Christ. Like it's just like it's just weird. You can even hear like the yeah, zoom the in back and it's just weird. Bro. I operate, bro. This is how I like. For me, I'm a in person type of dude. Yeah, I think the best version of me you're gonna get or get a definition of yeah. is is me in person. Right. You know, and um, I think some people don't I, really have to be in person. I think no. I think that is the best version you get is people who are just not comfortable with that. This is why like all these fucking big corporations are forcing people to come back into work. Right, you be like, yo, bro, you gotta come into work, dog. Like, you can't, you, we can't conduct business in your pajamas no more, dog. You feel me? Like, that's like, you see these people bitching, like, shut the fuck up, dog. You know what I mean? Go take your ass back to fucking work, dog. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. And that's just coming from my blue collar life, so I don't give a fuck about motherfuckers who work on computers all day. <laughs> and it's just like, yo, go yeah. take your ass back to work. at least a couple of days a week. Like, you need to be interacting with people to get good ideas. To get dog. good ideas, you yeah. know what I mean? You can't. It's hard to like get a genuine like. Because sometimes, like, idea just comes from being around somebody, dog. You know what I mean? Oh, when so, you're just yeah. looking through a computer screen, it's, like, so impersonal. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You get to... It re- removes that, like... <clears throat> Something about it. Yeah. It yeah. removes that... That... that uh, connection. Connection. But I think also, more importantly, it removes... It slowly removes your, like, ability to be an empath. Yeah. And, like, <clears throat> I think empathy is something, like, people need to have as part of your... Yeah. I guess your collection of a balanced person yeah yeah you definitely need it you need a lot of empathy especially nowadays where you got to empathize with everybody like everybody's just going through yeah. something fucking right. crazy and if you can't empathize sympathize yeah those are kind of two different things yeah, yeah exactly. but like some people don't want they don't even want to do they both do either one those are the crazy guys for me dog those are the people you gotta stay away from yeah those are the dangerous ones yeah we just don't give a fuck about Ooh. nothing dog. Yeah. <laughs> what those are the, they're called dictators and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just don't give a fuck. Uh, like, and you just see somebody just completely like just a psychopath that I don't can't like like you said empathize with anybody. But how do you live your life just being that much of a piece of shit? Yeah, that's fucking. That's that takes a lot of work. <laughs> it take a lot to just be like fuck everybody all day every day. It, um, it has to be more work than like a regular job. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's just like every I, moment you just I'm, going to Dunkin' Donuts, man. You know, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> get, get my. Yeah, right. this is supposed to be fucking extra, extra sugar. Yeah. It's like, like bro, I, you I, could I, just I, really, really just I tell them to I like correct I had it. This joke, like, it never got it to work because I was young. About like how like Hitler had a girlfriend. How did he like approach her, dog? You know what I mean? <laughs> like how did like this is the most terrible motherfucker on the planet at the point? How do you bag a bitch being that guy? Right. Right. What are you selling? Because you know, as a woman, she has to see some redeeming <clears throat> quality about you. Right. He's a good, good dresser. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I mean, good dresser. He's a really nice guy. Exactly. You know what I'm like? No, he's not. No, he's dog. not. Nah, nah. This is Hitler we're talking about. Yeah. I guess women were more impressed about how men look <laughs> versus what they did back yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> he's a good <laughs> provider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> women didn't really ask a lot of questions back yeah, then. Yeah, they definitely didn't, dog. They're like, hey, my husband does, you know. A little bit of Look, political uh, work. <laughs> <laughs> and they shut up. Yeah, right. Public speaking. <laughs> public speaking. <laughs> Women just were like back then, yeah, yeah he brings some of the bacon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Women back then actually let their husband fuck. Right. Like, other guys just to play. It was like, yeah, just it was like, different time, know, dog. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, now, like, for, you, now you can't even, like, be a man now. It's like, you or some shit can't. like that. I don't know. There's always, I try to stay away from anything that yeah. is, like, deters me from my goal of just being like on my path yeah especially this nonsense like type of like dialogue of back and forth like no you should be this you should do this you, no they should that's like, like what do you mean like just 
there's so much things to be mad about now. Yeah. Like, where do you start, dog? You just stop not being mad, right? Yeah. There's just too much shit to think about, bro. And it's just like, every, and you know what I was saying? You know what the problem is? I think everybody takes itself too serious now. Yeah. And the people don't want to say it, but it's like, yo, you can't take yourself too serious. Because at the, some point, you're going to have to, like, like, you're going to have to, you're going to deal with people who are not, have no knowledge of your life. You know what I mean? When you take yourself so serious, like you're not even willing to like educate people or even just talk to people. Talk bro. Like I out. deal with, I go, there's a dude I know, dog. This dude, he's a Trump supporter, but outside of that, he's a pretty cool guy, dog. You know what I mean, dog? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's just like, you yeah, know what I mean? It's course. just like everybody don't like, how many people you really going to align with like on every fucking issue, dog? And to be honest, I don't want to be around nobody that align with every issue I have, bro. You know what I mean? Like what kind of dialogue am I going to have with somebody who just agrees with everything I fucking say? Right. Yeah. And some things just kind of, you know, don't need to be kind of even yeah. addressed. It's just like, like some things are just have to, you can just respect people's opinions of what they are and just let it be. And just be like, oh, I'm not going to fuck with that person yeah. if you choose to do that or whatever. But to make this whole thing, oh, we, we, there's like a very attacked mentality, mm -hmm. you know, gang mentality, gang mentality type sh stuff. And it's just, but a lot of people like they just so fucking like, I feel like people are sometimes pretending that their problems are even bigger than what the fuck they are. Yeah, it goes back to that. Yeah, You're like dog, I right, it's cool. Yeah, dog. you're a victim. Like for, 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 since when? Yeah, dog, like, like everybody <laughs> wants to play the V card, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's a fucking victim. Everybody's this, and this is like, and as a black person, it kind of pisses me off because our shit is getting convoluted and everybody else's shit. Yeah, on like, top of the shit where it's already convoluted. Yeah, dog. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just like like we like I don't know how white women got way in front of fucking black people and fucking just like. Nobody gives a fuck about fucking black people, bro, dog. Like, nobody's giving a fuck about our issues right now. I mean, we sit there and march with everybody else, but it's just like, yeah. it's just fucking crazy. It's right crazy. Now. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, this, you know, the <laughs> it's like runs deep. You know, this country is like, you know, it runs deep. A lot, a lot of like, you know, underlining factors that yeah. people haven't really addressed yeah. in a very, very like, situational way yeah. to, and also create solutions yeah well you know just, it's like no it's just like it's like my thing is this and i'll just say this you know i'm at the point where it's just like especially with like a congress mm -hmm. when it comes to like legislation right mm -hmm. people are like well we have to legislate these things we have to get together and all right let's do it mm -hmm. right let's vote let's get it that's whatever the fuck yeah let's do it let's have a plan yeah right and also with that plan let's execute that plan mm -hmm. just talking about it doesn't Whenever matter. you get mad, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help our anything. issues go yeah, forward. Exactly. I don't give a fuck you saying like I'm this, yeah. like just because someone like like what are you doing every day or what are you trying to do yeah. to help us like get to yeah. a place? So, like you said, it's kind of like just like uh, what's the word? It's kind of like with America. There's like there's like a wheel. There's like, like there's like an armchair patriotism type thing that mm -hmm. goes around where just like there's some people that are just like. Every like they just they buy fucking everything that's American, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. Right. But they don't like <laughs> adhere like, to any yeah, yeah, of the yeah. like American values. Yeah, right, 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 right. Like right. motherfuckers, like there's no need for you to have like a you know a motherfucking Samsung cover wallet, a USA Samsung cover wallet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 right, right. <laughs> like dog, we know like everyone. This is a great, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. there's fucked up shit that happens to like a lot of groups of people, mm -hmm. especially black people. That mm -hmm. motherfuckers still we have to. We still have to kind of explain to people mm -hmm. that, oh, you don't understand what you like, what, what there's a problem here? Yeah, right. There's, and there's a pat, there's evidence here. Yeah. We're not just saying this. It's like yeah. evidence, repeated evidence right. of shit right. that has happened to us. Right, right. Documented shit. Documented yeah. shit, dog. Yeah. And they're just still like, mm, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why they give you Juneteenth to get you to shut up for a little while. Damn, I got I got sworn in as a citizen on Juneteenth. You, try, you trying to say something? <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. I think, Yo, damn, they got me, son. Yeah, they got you on Juneteenth. <laughs> damn. <laughs> God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> Just got my citizenship. Yeah. I don't want to be deported. Nah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so if I don't, I don't give I don't give a fuck what you say about Trump, nigga. That motherfucker got me in line to get my shit. You did? I wasn't trying to get what. 
Oh yeah, you mean like when he started wilding out? Wilding, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> I was I like, yeah, he's probably right. I probably should get my shit yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't, be, can't drag this out no more. No, I can't drag this. <laughs> I gotta, he's, he, he taught me a lesson. He's like, uh, he's like uh, I'm taking Muslims out, and you ain't even <laughs> Muslim. Man. I'm not even Muslim, <laughs> dog. But he could think you was Muslim and kick you just out. Just like the brother at the fucking W the other day. <laughs> yeah. Last night, dog, just came up to me. He just gave me. He was like, "Yo, assalamu alaikum." Like, you know that shit was on camera somewhere, dog. So they can pull that shit up to deport you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Damn dog, it's crazy. <laughs> he really see everybody thinks you Muslim, dog. <laughs> it's all good, you know. I got Muslim brothers. Yeah, I could I could be Muslim anytime. Yeah, you, you know, can but definitely <laughs> switch when it's convenient for you. Oh yeah. I just, you know, and that's, that's just one woman I was like, I don't know, I, I don't know how you feel about this, but I kind I don't even know if I reacted in a way that was mm-hmm. like but there was a woman that was telling me a uh, a general, like a, a white woman, whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I think she was not even whatever, she's white. I don't know what she was from. I think she's like European. Yeah. I think French or something. Mm-hmm. And um, she was trying to tell me, she was trying to convince me, like, she was trying to teach me about, like, certain, like black history, like, what this, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to flex on you. She's trying to flex, like, you know, like, there's, a, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of, like, white people that love us. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Of course. I know people, like, they fucking, they will, yeah, they yeah, fuck, yeah, they yeah. fuck with us, yeah. right? But there's some ones that are, like, they're. <laughs> Like they kind of overdo it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's they like, be trying to. They be trying too hard. Though. Yeah, you know, dog. like you know, like when you freaking like, <laughs> you know, you like hanging with a friend or hanging with somebody you don't really know that well, but y'all are hanging and yeah. they're trying too hard to be like cool with you, dog. Yeah. So they just be like, they be overdoing it and they just fuck up the vibe. The That's what you mean. Yeah, you're like, trying too hard. Yeah, dog. she's you're talking like, this about shit come natural. That's crazy. She's yeah. talking about the different world, like making re- you know, come like making references from a different world, like the oh, show. The, the show. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, she's forcing, it. forcing it. She's forcing it. She she don't watch. She don't read too many books. Oh man! So she was just like, "Tell me about this," and then she said something about like, "Oh, you know, about slaves, stuff like that." She's I'm like, I'm like, come like on. lady, like I, I get it. I like, want to drink my coffee. Yeah, and, and I was like, I just I'm here to just drink my fucking iced latte, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, you know, vanilla latte, my bougie bitch shit. Starbucks drink, yeah, like whatever. Like, I didn't come here for all this shit. Because then you know, she was like, oh, you know, I guess she saw my like, flag. She asked me where my flag is from. I'm like, oh, you I'm got from- a tattoo. No, like my on my backpack, oh, I have like okay. a patch, yeah, of a uh, Eritrean flag on it. Yeah. I was like from Eritrea. She's like, oh, where's? And then she's then she's like, oh, where's that? I'm gonna show you something. Yeah. Right. I'm like, oh, you don't know where that is? Mm-hmm. She's like, oh no, I never heard of it. I'm like, oh, that's how I know you just full you're just full of shit. Yeah. Because Eritrea is in Africa. Right. I am black history. You're right. <laughs> what the fuck are you going to tell me You're more right. than what I'm already from? She skipped that whole section on Africa. <laughs> <laughs> she skipped all those shots and went right to the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we don't need to read that shit. Let's get to the good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the cliff notes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, whatever, man. I get it. People, yeah. There's people out there trying. I get yeah. it. You know, but... Read the room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Read the room. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, what do you got? So what do you got going on for yourself going forward, man? I know you've been doing the TV stuff. Actually, let me talk about this real quickly before we leave. Mm-hmm. The TV experience the, on HBO with yeah. Sam. How did, how was that? Like, it was how, dope. What, uh, like to be in a production like that. How, and it was how, dope and it was during pandemic. So I had to show up early, get a COVID test. Mm. And then they brought us like took like a little bus to like another place and get another test. And then we like went to like the apartment where they film it. It was dope, bro. Just seeing the production, see how it's going on and shit. It was just an ill thing to see. And then, you know, seeing like my nigga Sam and her light and all her greatness mm-hmm. right now. You know what I mean? Just seeing like just somebody who I just like used to just gig with at open mics is act like, like oh, yeah. is winning right now, dog. You <clears throat> yeah. know what I mean? Like anytime Sam do something, I always be like, yo, man, you doing it, dog. Like you, I, I applaud every little thing you fucking do, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sam's dope. I've always loved Sam. Yeah. Respect for Sam. I don't communicate with her as much. Uh, she's so busy. Yeah. I'm sure. And of course she's busy. No, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> she yeah. is busy. You know? Um, but I always wish her the best. Um, mm-hmm. And she always, like, you know, when she's available, shows me, like, yeah. love and stuff. I love her so much. And uh, to give her, to go, to give back too, man, yeah. that's fucking dope as shit. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's a... Yeah, she didn't have to hit me up. And it was funny. It was yeah. crazy. Like, when I got that call, it was so random. Like, I was, um, I was at work just hating my life. 
whatever, because work sucks. Yeah, sure and, it does. Uh, and then, like, my phone rang, and it was just, like, a weird number. I said, that's probably some bill collector or some shit. And I don't know why I picked it up. I just, like, picked it up. Oh, wow. I picked it up, and it was like, I'm blah, 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 the talent director for a pause with TMJ, and she gave me your number. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to show up. It was like, hell yeah. like, let's say it was, like, Wednesday, and the shit was filming, like, Friday. You were there? I, yeah. I, I Called I, off I, work? After, no, after that, I went right to the... um. I went right to my manager. I said, "Y'all need I need uh Friday and Monday off. I I can't explain. I just need it off." <laughs> and that was just it. And then what I did was um I fucking uh I just got a haircut in the morning. I drove to New York. And okay. that was it. And I, I was in the hotel and I just drove back <clears throat> the next day. But Sam did that to me another time. Like she like let me rock out with her at the stand one time. Nice. She was like, "Oh, I'm having like a going away show yeah. cuz I'm gonna be gone for a while." She's like, "You want to do it?" It was like on a Thursday. Mm. I was like, yeah, I'll fucking do it. So I fucking called out of work again. Like, yeah, I ain't coming. I went. I got a fucking haircut again. <laughs> I fucking. You stay fresh, yeah, Jason. I your, fucking, your cuts do be, do be yeah. good. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but, I fucking. You know? I, I got a haircut. I drove to New York. I chilled in New York for a while. Did the show. Chilled all these niggas, smoking, drinking. And I drove back that same day. Yeah. Yo, I would. Yo, when I drove back. Because I left like. Three four o'clock in the morning, bro. So like when I was pulling in like home, I was it was work time, bro. Uh, so I had to go straight to work, and I was just dead all day. But it was like it, fuck it, yeah. you know what I mean? That's the life of a comedian. Yeah. Oh, you be available. Yeah. Be ready. That's why it's like sometimes like I would go OT some more. I'd be wishing like I just knew more drivers. That <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like so many people don't drive, and so many like I'm always the driver. I'm the nigga who's gonna stay up. Even when I'm tired, because yeah. I'm I can't deal with the guilt <clears throat> of killing everybody in a car accident. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm gonna I'm the nigga that like when I'm driving like long I already know everybody's gonna fall asleep. Yeah. So that's why like <clears throat> when I be driving and like people be like let's play this song. Fuck you! I'm gonna be the only one listening to this. Music. We're playing my music because y'all yeah. about to be sleeping 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what <clears throat> I'm saying? You know? Can I tell you the, the one example? The one pure example that I remember that made me change and shift my appreciation to try to keep people safe around me. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you this. And it, I was in a car accident that I yeah. was driving with people in it Oof. and we almost died. Yeah. And we we did, we left unscathed. Yeah, you got lucky. And I got lucky. Yeah. And from there, I was on my prom night, I kind of fell asleep on, well, not kind of, I yeah. fell asleep on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker said kind of, he's still trying to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, right, right. I got, fell asleep on the wheel Car flipped over like four or six times, or four to six times. Wow! And y'all was all good. We were good. So then, at seventeen, eighteen years old, eighteen years old, I said, "Yo, anyone who's around me, I gotta make sure like They're good. I good. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, bro. You can't be you like know? I ain't gonna endanger nobody. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So shit. What do you got? You got any shows coming? Obviously, you got shows and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna, this is going to be coming out. Uh, this is the week. We're going to put this out very soon. So give your dates that you got, if you got uh, anything at all, uh, which I'm sure you do. You yeah. came in here with the Fedora from Miami. Yeah, man. This is just a nice set. Well, this Saturday, I got three shows. Okay. Ooh. I, I got The Hideout at 7.30. I got uh, Nick's Comedy Stop at 8. And then I got The Lily Pad at 10. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like next week I got Nix again with Subverse. I'm doing her um, benefit show for her friend, oh. his daughter. So, you okay. know, I donate my time to that. Mm -hmm. And then the week after that I got the lily pad. And so it's like, yeah, man, yeah. I got shit going on. Bro. Of course you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just trying to cook right now, bro. I'm just Ooh. like, I'm just cooking right now, man. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to like. African style. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> Coming in hot. You know, it's just like I got this like, like I feel like. Like, I was doing comedy, and I never stopped comedy, but I feel like I was hot, and I had a low. You know, I'm not saying, like, nobody ever fuck with me, but I just, and then, like, I reinvigorated myself, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, I don't want to waste this. Second chance. This chance. It's almost like a second chance, dog, you know yeah. what I mean? So, that's why, like, mm. <clears throat> I be on that Kobe shit, bro. Like, my, pra I'm practicing at game speed, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why, like, I don't fuck around on stage, bro. Y'all don't care if it's a bullshit show. I'm doing my best shit, bro. I'm mm -hmm. doing the shit I'm working on, bro. I don't just, like, take a night Waste off, time. dog. Yeah. I don't take a night off, bro, because it's right. like, dog, I've booked shows on bullshit shows, bro. Like, I remember I went to this bullshit show, dog. Like, it was in the middle of fucking, like, Dorchester, nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I booked booking a college gig that paid me $1,000 for From that gig. Yeah, from that bullshit, dog. And she, like, even though the show was terrible, but she knew, like, I still had, like, chops and shit. 
And it was just like, yeah. So it was like, I don't take nights off, bro, with comedy, bro. Like, I'm going hard, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm building the set always, bro. Yeah. Always working because it's just like, <clears throat> I don't, and I don't want to take nights off, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I just want people to know, like, yo, Dover's coming, bro. He's coming, bro. He said, you better have your shit together because mm. I'm not. I'm not selling myself short for nobody, and I'm just not gonna do that. I don't care I've who's coming it. before or after I've me, seen bro. It. You know I've what I mean? I've like, seen it, dog. I've I, seen it. Yeah. I've seen the growth. Yeah, well, firsthand. Just, I've seen like the, you know, the beginning card over, and I've seen what the yeah, now card over. Yeah, I'm a witness to that shit. It's so just, it's like you're you definitely are focused. Yeah, there's no doubt about it's it. It's like these, <laughs> these comics would be like, oh, like, they try to rob you enthusiasm. They try to yeah, mm-hmm. they try to rob you of like. Trust me, I'm in the same situation. Mm-hmm. I had to check one of these little comics too one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, try steal a joke. For real? Mm-hmm. You know? Try steal your shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. I ain't gonna mention his name, but. There's a fucking comic. And he, he said he didn't, but I know what There's it was. The comic I heard is doing like. And you know what it was? He was trying. Shits. I haven't ran into him yet, though. Yeah. It's like, well, the thing is, is these fucking newer comics, man, it's like, you know. Try, they're trying to explain to you what comedy is so yeah. he was huge trying to explain to me like, like I'm like Doug I don't think you understand like yeah. it, we're not talking about this yeah <laughs> that's what I really want to say shit, yeah but I had to you know listen yeah I had to that was my first experience I checked a couple comments yeah like, and, that, and that's what people think like you can't check I had to check this one I ain't gonna say his name yeah, but I, I was know. at Capo you know Capo Will shit yeah but Noonan, shout out of course Noonan. and this is one comment <laughs> He like always get drunk and act stupid, dog. And he fucking like <clears throat> he was just doing like that weirdo shit, dog. Like he like he like made a joke, like he slapped me like on my ass and shit, dog. I turned around, oh, I said, "Yo, yo bro, uh, you know, you I know, said, you can't be I slapping said, no brother's yeah, booty." I was like, yo, bro. I said, yo. I said, yo. I was like, yo. Out in public, you can't smack my cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> so I touch my. You're trying to bust your yeah, cheeks. Yeah. I, 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 and he knows I'm, f- but he's always drunk, so he thinks oh. he's drunk. I was like, yo, bro. Alcohol. I said, yo, bro. Don't do that. Please. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up, dog. You touch me again, bro. Like, like I'm going to slap you, dog. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to be that guy. But some people might need yeah. to be slapped, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean, dog? It's, yeah. it's like, what do you think you like? This isn't like some college frat boy shit, dog. Like, I'm just here doing my jokes and shit. And you just like, this is not mm-hmm. it, bro. I will slap you, dog. You know what yeah. I mean? Jason's like, you won't take my soul. Yeah. <laughs> you won't All take right. my we soul. We ain't doing that, dog. <laughs> like, like, stop fucking like playing with me, dog. Like, like yeah. we're not, we're not cool. Like, the niggas I would kill people for would never do that to me. No. So what makes you think that you fucking. No, right. No. That it's like that. Like you said, there's, there's, we, we're, we are in a, we're all comedy stand-up comedians it's a community of very very different types of people yeah people think so eclectic it's crazy yeah you have like ser- you know you got you got serious people mm-hmm. that are funny that do yeah. comedy yeah. when I say serious like they don't take no shit yeah but they're, fu- they're funny yeah. as hell right like a TK Kirkland motherfucker yeah, right right you, ain't no one wrote, coming up to him doing that type. You're right You're doing that. yeah it's just <laughs> what? Like, like it just be know? like motherfuckers just be like they think like you know you've been doing comedy for a while it's like, boundaries no it's boundaries, just like man. You know, Respect. like that whole like this is just a big party shit fades. Cause when you first start comedy, it almost is like a oh, party yeah. dog. You know what I mean? Oh, but after a yeah. while, you're just like, yo, bro, I'm yeah. here to do my shit. I got some friends like that. Yeah, they're still in that party phase yeah. of comedy, and yeah, it's like, and if you're in for that, I mean, you have the right to do whatever yeah. you want, but yeah, I'm gonna, not. I'm not. That's not my lane, bro. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and you I'm trying to figure my shit up. out to get to what I'm more serious. Fuck place. yourself up, bro. Like if you're sitting around here getting like fucked up every night and all that, you're gonna do something stupid. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what motherfuckers don't understand. Like, yo, it's like right. well, especially when you're doing something like this. There's so much more things than so much more other things other than your jokes. People judge you off of. Like, how you behave? Are you on time? Are you fucking just one of motherfuckers who, like, goes around and fucks out? Are you a professional? It's like, all that shit matters, that what people think about you in this game, unfortunately. You can't just say, oh, I'm funny, so I get to just be a fucking asshole. Don't work like that. Work <laughs> like, like you that. know what I mean? Especially, right. Yeah. And uh, I think comedians generally have a good sense of, like, um, you know, human resources and each yeah. other. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because we don't have no human resource. We, yeah, we, yeah. we work it out between ourselves, yeah. you know? And I think comedians are probably like the best out of any example of yeah. people yeah. that just kind of like self-police self-police ourselves, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um. So, yeah. 
Um, I don't want to take more of your time. Yeah, you're but um, good. bro, thanks I, for having me, bro. Yeah, that shit was dope. I, it's yeah. been like almost like ten years in the making. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. really like talked to you like that, but it was. Yeah, we could do it again soon, bro. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Uh, you guys can follow me at Chase Abel Instagram at Chase Abel A B E L. Uh, you can check me on my website www.chaseable.com. Um, I'm gonna be at some dates. I got some dates next month. I'm gonna be over in San Francisco um, next month. I believe at the Cobb's Comedy Corner, and um, I'll be in Dallas uh, end of the month too. Okay, so, um, so yeah. But um, listen, Jason Cardova, make sure you guys follow him. It was a good time. I appreciate everyone always for listening to the podcast. Subscribe, like, and share. We are out. Yes, sir. <laughs>